Good day friends. Thank you very much for all those questions which many of you have been sending to me. I would definitely answer all those questions as and when time permits. Um, in fact, as fa fast as possible. And I will be uploading videos on YouTube and other places where you can see these answers. Today I would like to pick up a very interesting question and a number of young people have asked me about this subject and the subject is exoplanet. Planets of stars other than the sun. Many scientists have claimed that they have discovered planets outside the solar system. They have claimed that many other stars have solar systems and that they have discovered these solar systems and that there is a possibility of life on these planets. Now young people ask me two, two things. First is, uh, um, won't Bible be proved wrong if uh, uh, living beings are found on other planets? And the second question is, uh, have they really found living people or living beings or living creatures on these planets? Good question. Uh, actually, a good number of you are confused by journalistic writing on these topics. Actually, scientists have not really discovered planets. What they have done is, they have deduced the possibility of planets that encircle other stars. No telescope has ever shown such planets, nor is it possible using present telescopes to see such planets if they really exist. What scientists have done is, they have studied the trajectory, the path of movement of these stars, and they have found very tiny wobbles in those paths. And the reason that this wobble is because of the planets, planet or planets that encircle those stars. Actually, according to the third law of motion, if uh, uh, one body pulls the other, the other one also pulls the first one. So, if there is a motion in the first one, there would be a corresponding motion in the second one. So, once they started observing these tiny wobbles, they have deduced that these wobbles are because of uh, planets, but nobody has seen these planets in a definite manner or with the help of any kind of telescope. So while it is very much possible that these wobbles are because of planets, it's also possible that it is because of some other reason. At present, everything depends upon deduction and they have favored one deduction over the other, that's all. So have they really discovered planets? The answer is no. Then why do they claim? Actually, what scientists claim is that they deduce that certain stars might have planets because of which we see a wobble in their motion. Such deduction is normal part of science and once there is a deduction, they then try to study in detail to see whether the direction is right or wrong. So such studies are going on in astronomy, but so far none of those claims have been confirmed firmly nor have they been refuted. So it's possible that some of the stars might have planets and that we might get more firm proof in the coming days. So that much about the discovery of planets. Now the second question is, do those planets have life on them? Well, let me remind you that the existence of the planets are only a deduction. They have not been confirmed yet. So, as long as the existence has not been confirmed, as long as it is still at a deduction stage, it is premature to ask whether there is life on them. Because we don't know whether they are there. So, First, let them confirm that they are there and then we can start asking whether there is life on them. Now, for a few moments, assume that there are planets. Also assume that there is life on them. So what? Some of you may say, well, that proves the Bible wrong. Not at all. 
the Bible doesn't claim that there is life only on the earth. It claims that there is life on the earth, but it doesn't claim that there is life only on the earth. So if there is life on other planets, it doesn't affect the biblical history or the record of the Bible. So all this claim that discovery of extrasolar planets and extrasolar lives as and when it happens would disprove the Bible is simply a hypothetical construct which has no value. So what is the current situation? Uh, to assure all those young friends who send me questions on this, I want to assure you that the existence of planets is a deduction and this deduction is still waiting for confirmation. So let it be confirmed first and then we can go on to the next steps. Now by chance if they are confirmed, it doesn't mean that there is life on them. And suppose if there is life on them, eventually suppose some of them are found to have life, I want to assure you that it has nothing to do with reliability or non-reliability non of the Bible because the Bible doesn't say about life outside of earth. So if there is no life, no problem. If there is life, no problem. That is the biblical situation. So now you know the scientific position and also the biblical position. And uh, uh, be strong and be solid in faith. There is nothing in science which challenges either the Bible or the Christian faith. God bless you.